Hey, I'm Hunter from Scope Thrive, and today we're talking about raster images. Almost any photo you see on the internet is a raster image, and common file formats are JPEG, GIF, PNG, and TIFF. A raster image is composed of millions of tiny squares called pixels, and each pixel represents a single color, and together they create an image like this one. Another term you'll hear when working with raster images is bit depth, which refers to the amount of color information available for that file. The higher bit depth, the more color the file can store. You'll notice in Photoshop, you have the option to set bit depth when creating a new document. An 8-bit document is able to display 16.8 million different colors, and a 16-bit image is able to display trillions. For most images, 8-bit is all you need. So why would you ever use 16-bit? Flexibility when editing. If you're making a lot of edits to an 8-bit image, you'll eventually run into a problem called posterization. Posterization is when an image's apparent bit depth decreases and results in a poor color transition. You can see here that after just a few adjustment layers, the image begins to lose color information in the sky. One way to avoid this is to edit raw files in a higher bit mode, like a 16-bit mode. Keep in mind though, JPEG images are already 8-bit. So starting off with one and trying to convert it to 16-bit has no benefit because that color information is already lost when it was saved as a JPEG. Therefore, be sure to edit raw files if you want the maximum color flexibility when editing. So should you always edit in a higher bit mode? Well, it depends. Use 8-bit if you're doing minimal adjustments to an image and if computer performance is a concern. And use 16-bit when you're doing heavy editing and computer performance is not a concern. That's it for this Photoshop quick tip. For full Photoshop tutorials and tips like these, be sure to check out skillthrive.com. If you like our videos, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. You can become a free member on our site by clicking the top box. You'll get access to all the images and Photoshop files to our courses, and I'll invite you to join our exclusive Slack community. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.